Hello guys, my name is Isaiah from The Automator and in this video I'm going to demonstrate a function that I created many years ago that is, uh, I created it to solve a very specific issue in which I needed to show a list of, of keys that could be used for a hotkey in a GUI. So I'm gonna show you something that might be helpful in a lot of situations, not only for GUI displays, but let me show you more or less what I mean by that. So a lot of times what I want to do is that I want to give uh, the user some options to set up hotkeys. At the time when I created this, there were no hotkey <laughs> controls, which was a little bit difficult. And even so, even if we have the hotkey control, it doesn't really work as I need it to. So sometimes I am forced to create uh, a list of keys like this to give the user. And you could type here. So for example, if I press the letter A, it jumps to the A. Or for example, if I say F, it jumps to the function keys and so on. So it was really easy for me to create hotkeys this way because I select the key that I want and then go ahead and select uh, some modifier keys like the control, the alt, and any key that I wanted. So this is what this function is all about and I want to demonstrate how to use it. I'm going to go ahead and talk a little bit about the key list function. It is a function that I created a long time ago um, and it was created so that it, I could create list of keys actually uh, in a flexible way and I will show you how it works. It's very simple. It only uses three parameters. Uh, whatever you want to include in the list, whatever you want to exclude, and how you want to delimit that list. Usually, uh, for now, it defaults to a tab. Right now, it, you can see that it's a tab, but please trust me. <laughs> but basically, what is gonna happen is if I run this, you will notice that I get a very big list of key, uh, keyboard keys like the Enter key, the Home, Backspace, the F keys, the letters A to Z in lowercase and capital letters. Num numbers 0 to 9, punctuation, and numpad keys, as you can tell. Now, all of them are separated by tabs, but I will show you what the good thing about it, this is. Now, I documented the function fairly well so that you could, you know what to do with it. The, in the include parameter, uh, you can have the keyword all, which is the default. Actually, if you don't set anything, it will just default to all. But you could use any of those keywords here, either by themselves or together, to create the list exactly how you want it. So, for example, if I lower, if I want lowercase and punctuation, I could use those two guys, lower and punct, and it would just go ahead and give me a list separated by tabs that is just the A to Z and the punctuation characters. The most uh, useful ones, though, are the the mouse button modifier keys function keys and numpad and keyboard, because these ones here allow you to create hotkeys very quickly. Now, let me go ahead and show you what that looks like. So, for example, if I want all the mouse buttons and I run this, it would just return the names L button, R button, those guys, you know? So, this is great, because if I want to just give you a list of hotkeys, or if I want to hotkey all of them at once, I do not have to write this down on my program, I just use the function or include the function and I just say key list, give me the mouse buttons. That's it. Now, what if I don't want some of the buttons? Well, I could just go ahead and say, I don't want X button one or X button two. I just want the other key keys on that list. And as you can tell, now I don't have those two options in my list. This is great actually, because I could create uh, as I mentioned, very flexible lists to show on my GUI. And for example, if I want to give you options of how to, you know, select that for either hotkeys or whatever your program is doing, you could go ahead and simply add a drop down list and it's going to be like this. And I'm just going to do the same thing here and then just show that and return. Now, if I run this just like that, I will have this little issue here <laughs> that is because uh, drop down lists need the delimiter to be a pipe character. That's the reason why now I have another parameter here to tell it, hey, let's go ahead and put a pipe there and 
down, this should do whatever I was expecting, <laughs> which is give me a list of the buttons. So if your program needs to give the user these options, which is a list of the mouse buttons available, you could do so very easily in just one line. Of course, including the library, which you're going to have in a separate file, probably. This is a very, you know, clear uh, command and it saves you some time of having to write every single one of them down. So the same happens. So for example, if I just want the function keys, I just say F keys and let's just remove this out from there. Now I have all the function keys. Perfect. Now there's a very specific feature that I added because I sometimes want this is just to have ranges A to H, the letters A to H. That's it. I just have the letters A to H. How about I want also the numbers? So that, there you go. There's A, A to H and then the numbers to nine. And how about some F keys? But I want to exclude the numbers one to three from the list. And I also want to exclude the E to F. This is what I mean by creating flexible lists. I could not only say what to include, but I actually also can exclude stuff. And you could use ranges like this to make it easy for you to just create the list exactly how you want it. No, so as you can see, A, B, C, D, the E is gone, the F is gone, but I could continue with G and H. And again, from zero, it jumped from one to four. So, so from zero went to four. So again, it is just following the rules that I set. And I could get a very, very precise list of exactly what I wanted. And well, that is what this function is all about.